guys, it is Monday and um, I, I'm trying to get this glare, sorry. I uh, just got home from work and walking my dogs. So I threw on my sweatshirt, put my hair up and I was really annoyed because, well, I'm very excited. Penelope Douglas's Credence comes out on Tuesday and I got an email Sunday night saying an ARC was sent to my Kindle. But I had so much to do yesterday that I couldn't read it because I think I got it at like 7 p.m. 8 p.m. I don't remember and I, I was at my parents house I came home I had to list my shop stuff then I had to edit a video I really wanted to get up and then it said it uploaded then this is an error and deleted it all from YouTube so I don't know what happened there so then I was trying to keep on uploading it and then I had to make new seating charts for my kids at school so I couldn't read anything last night but I am today so I have a couple of things I want to do for um, school for my master's. I gotta have a couple assignments I want to get done tonight. And then, um, read. I'm so excited. This one, I just know she has to go and live with these boys in this mountain with her dad. And Lacey started it. She's about 30% in and she loves it. So, I need to read it now. So, I'm gonna vlog my experience of reading Penelope Douglas's new book. And I'm very, very, very excited. I'm just... I also started Chris and Becky Ruti's new book which comes out on the 21st and I'm loving it but I have to put that down to read Credence because Credence comes out tomorrow and that one comes out next week so I just have too many good books right now that I want to read them all but I gotta work and do stuff so I'm gonna go and do all the stuff I wanted to do and make dinner and then read some Penelope Douglas. Hi guys so it is Tuesday now and I'm only 8% in. I was just like stressed out yesterday about things and I could not focus on reading and I fell asleep at 8.45. So I'm reading now and it's eight o'clock. We have Jeopardy on because the champions are playing and I am 8% like I said and I <laughs> really get up here. It's okay. I like kind of want her love interest to be the dad. We don't know who it is and um, she's just had some interactions with him that I'm getting birthday girl vibes but I don't know because he has two sons and him who live in a secluded woods by themselves and uh, she's there so I don't know I remember Lacey saying she was 30% in and still didn't know who the love interest was so we shall see hey guys sorry if this lighting is just like atrocious it's like oh my god are we surprised not at all it's like 6 p.m. Um, no light outside whatsoever so I have my light in my library on hi lily she had to bring her ball but i am um 25 of the way through it is wednesday and i feel way far behind because both lacy and chandler posted their reviews yesterday and that's literally a day after it released so i feel way behind i'm only 25 percent in i was feeling super stressed out yesterday and tuesday i just like don't like having things on my list to do when i know that they're due later in the week so like I have to post a discussion post every Wednesday, respond by Thursday and Saturday, and then have my paper done on Sunday, and take a quiz, and I don't like having all of that spread out. I just want to get everything done immediately, which is impossible. So I feel better because I'm done with my quiz and my posts. I just have the essay left for this week. So I'm going to spend tonight reading. I'm not going to do any schoolwork tonight. And I'm 25% of the way through. And I don't know what to think. I feel like we don't really have a lot of connection i am holding this that's why she's freaking out next to me we don't really have any connection with tiernan right now like i don't get her we know what happens in the beginning uh to her parents and that's literally it about her character we're learning more right now um about like how she feels about her past 25 percent in not a lot has really happened and she doesn't have anything else really going for her she's 17 she's a senior like is she gonna do anything when she graduates is she just gonna sit there like what is she gonna do when she's done with school stay with those guys that she's not even sure she even wants to stay with um what does she like to do i don't know she just like doesn't even have any hobbies she just like starts working on their uh ranch or whatever that they live on so i did, i feel like she's not really fleshed out there's just like one thing to her and that's it and i don't know how i feel about her and then i was looking at goodreads reviews and there's a lot of one and two star reviews of this book because of i know what's gonna happen because someone spoiled like everything in their review not everything i don't know how i like it it's being considered a reverse harem novel which i don't like harems or reverse harems so i don't know if it's just me with this book right now i'm enjoying it more now that we're getting like more plot to it but like there was even this other guy that was thrown in there so there's like four potential love interests and i'm just like i'm not into the one girl with like a four guys 
so we'll see definitely different for penelope douglas people say there's very um dubious consent in here which i haven't really gotten to i mean i did get to a scene that was like oh but she was all like oh but i wanted it kind of thing so we'll see it's definitely very very different than what she's written before so we'll see and sorry for my appearance i went to the gym today so that's why this is all a mess but i'm gonna read some more and hopefully get a lot done today look how cute joe puppy is this is my life. So Miss Lily always takes my spot. Literally, I have this much of the bed. <laughs> but she's just too cute. I don't want to move her. And our stars is over there cuddled up in her little ball. Ugh. I might shove her over at some point. But I'm 50% of the way through. And I've already, like, done all my face and, like, gotten ready for bed. So you're not seeing my face. But this book has gotten so good. I don't know why I was dating Penelope Douglas. We got to understand why um, Tiernan was so detached and like had nothing going for her. They addressed that whole issue about 40% of the way in and once we hit the 40, 35, 40% mark I was hooked and um, it's getting very steamy and there are some questionable things in here that I know people are not going to like. So keep in mind, if you are a very sensitive reader, there's a lot of talk of suicide in here and uh, questionable content. But coming from Penelope Douglas, I'm loving this book so much. But if you're a sensitive reader at all, you probably won't like this. Like, I would never recommend this book to my sister. She would hate it. I am loving it. I don't know what it is, but it's amazing. And I love... At least Noah and Jake I love. Caleb, I don't know how I feel about right now, but it's good. And um, I am really enjoying it, and I don't know why I ever was doubting Penelope Douglas at all. But I'm like 55% of the way through, so I'm going to read some more tonight and hopefully get a good chunk done. And up to you guys tomorrow. Hi, guys. Little Miss Darcy's hanging out right behind me. Um, it is Thursday, and I am 74, 75% into... Oh, the book. My hair is looking nice because I just got back from the gym and had some dinner and Lily's whining at me. Just my life. But, um, everybody's giving this five stars. And I've decided after I finish it, I'm going to do a spoiler section of this video because there's some things I need to talk about about why I'm not, like, five star loving this. I'll probably, it's more like a four, I think. Because literally if any other author wrote this, I would hate it. <laughs> but because it's Penelope... I'm loving it and um but I don't I don't know Caleb is like creepy and I don't get why well and I don't get at all why she likes him at all like and there are a lot of scenes where it's like oh I said no but he knows I meant yes kind of thing and like I don't get why she even has any sort of attraction to him because he's like terrifying <laughs> and like she says he's terrifying so Miss Lily wants her ball, but I don't know. Ugh. It's good and I can't stop reading it, but like it's not a kind of storyline I like. So um, we'll see how I feel at the end and then I'm going to watch both Lacey and Chandler's videos and then um, come back with my final thoughts probably tomorrow night. So I'm going to read some more and I like her the most with one of them, but I don't know what's going to happen at the end. I don't know. And like, I don't, I don't know. I just don't know. <laughs> we'll just leave it at that. Hi everybody, so it is currently Friday, um, I just got back from work, changed my shirt into something comfortable, I'm about to head out to Half Price Books, I got a coupon for being an educator, $5 off my order, so I'm gonna go there, but I do need to talk to you about Credence, so I have now watched both Lacey and Chandler's videos about their thoughts, hi Lily, <laughs> she missed me, thank you, and... They both gave it five stars. And I think I said this before, if it weren't Penelope Douglas writing it, I would have hated it. Um, I'm gonna say non-spoilery stuff now, and then I'll tell you when I'm getting to spoilers. So we don't know who our main character is gonna pick. That's the whole premise of the book. Who's she gonna pick? She kind of likes all three guys. Her step-uncle, her two step-cousins, are step, so she's not related to them. She didn't grow up with them, so nothing felt weird. And I did appreciate um, Penelope Douglas's note at the end she said that she really doesn't want to get stuck in a rut of being predictable and so she just likes to push the boundaries and she says corrupt is one of her most polarizing series but one of her most loved so um i get what what she's doing she's trying to like push the envelope and do something different 
everybody who reads it is like, oh my god, and whether that's a good or a bad thing. And so I... I liked it to an extent, but there's some things that I didn't like that are spoilery pertaining to a certain character and their progression and how much I didn't like it. So that's my thoughts on the book so far. I love the setting. I loved being secluded in the mountains with these insatiable men. And um, it was probably the steamiest book she's ever written, honestly. I've read every book she's written. I'm pretty sure I've read every book Penelope Douglas has written, and this is by far the steamiest. And I is good but <laughs> I'm gonna get to spoilers now I can't talk about anything without getting spoilers so spoiler section now I'm gonna put that yep it's gonna say spoiler right here if I can do that editing so um I did not like Caleb Caleb's character to me was completely underdeveloped he didn't come into the book until 20% and the when we first meet him he's just this barbaric man who is like my my woman and literally they don't speak to each other well he's mute but they don't talk to each other and he's like ravaging her and she's saying no and now it's one of those instances where it's like oh i'm saying no but my body is saying yes and i'm like he is this guy that is just attacking you and mauling you and you don't even know him you've never even spoken to him and he continues this aggressive behavior until she decides she loves him and i feel like penelope does Douglas did such a good job of developing her relationship with Jake and then once she had that physical relationship with Jake stopped that development then started developing Noah and once she had that encounter with Noah with Caleb um, she stopped that and was like oh hey maybe she actually likes Caleb and I did not get any of that chemistry between her and Caleb at all and I don't think that that relationship was developed enough for me because the book wasn't spent on just her and Caleb typically we have an entire book spent developing a relationship and this one we have like 50% of it's her and Jake's relationship developing then we get about 20% of her and Noah's relationship developing and then we get the last like 10 of her and Caleb developing and then her with her stuff so I didn't like or understand Caleb's character Chandler called it from the beginning that it was gonna be Caleb I wanted it so badly to be Jake but I think I knew it wasn't going to be because she just wrote birthday girl and we're not gonna have another young girl with a dad aged figure and so I'm kind of mad but I totally would have liked her to be with Jake I got it and then I didn't like how like Jake was just all like oh okay like so easily just like let her go and be with one of his sons and how Noah was like why don't you just stay here and we can all get you pregnant <laughs> and I'm just like Noah I love Noah's character. I knew that he there was no way he would end up with her. He was just that kind of like misguided, tro like sad boy who was just like kind of the life of the party, but like still sad and he just needs someone to love him and that's why he attached himself to um, our main character, which I'm blanking on her name right now. What was her name? Tiernan. Yeah. Um, oh, that reminds me, like I don't like how there was a guy named Terrence and hers was Tiernan. That was way too close. And... Chandler mentioned this too in her review. I hated that like bad action villain thing thrown in at the end. This book is over 500 pages. It was long enough and I don't think that having that weird thing happen where he comes and he's like oh well I'm gonna take what's mine and I'm just like what? I don't know I just feel like that was like oh badly acted even though it was I was reading it villain moment like from an 80s movie that wasn't necessary so I wasn't a fan of that I figured they were the ones who set their stuff on fire I didn't need him coming back and trying to steal things and like saying I'm gonna take what's mine so and you're gonna be mine so I'm gonna like ravage you yeah so I didn't like that but I I don't know I would have probably given this a three star if it wasn't Penelope Douglas writing. I think I already said that. Because it was her writing, I was just like so sucked into it and couldn't stop reading. So I gave it four. There's no way I can give this a five though because of how annoyed I am with Caleb's character and how he wasn't developed and how I wanted her to be with Jake because I feel like she developed his character so much more. And something happened at the end. Okay, so I'm, this is spoiler. So when Cece shows up pregnant and she's like, I knew it. It's Of course it's you. And she runs off mad. I hate the plot conflict authors use where the main character has a misconception about the guy and then learns a lot more about him and falls in love with him 
and then something comes into play later on that would confirm that misconception and she latches onto it and she's just like, I knew it all along and like, it's like, you're a horrible person and I, how could I have ever loved you? That happened to two other books I read in the past month and I'm just like, that's annoying. And so I didn't like it how she was like, of course you got her pregnant. That's just who you are and I can't believe I ever would have trusted you. That's just, you're just that kind of animal and she like runs off all mad and I'm like, you just like fell in love with him and felt like he wasn't because you read his writing. I liked that. I liked how he was writing and was like very emotional. We got to learn the human side of him through his writing, but I didn't like how she was so quick to get angry because he, he was pregnant. I'm like, that was also before he met you, so why are you getting mad at him now? But yeah, <laughs> I don't know what else to say. I, um, I don't know. I knew about 25% in that she was going to end up hooking up with all three of them. I read some reviews and some people hated the book. We're giving it one and two star. And I was like, why are they giving this one and two stars? So I read some reviews and some of them spoiled stuff, which was fine to me. So I knew she was going to hook up with Jake first and then she was going to get together with Noah and Caleb. I knew she was going to end up being intimate with all three guys, which I don't like that in a book. I don't like reverse harems. I don't like it when the girl is like sleeping with everybody. And I don't even like a harem either when the guy is sleeping with everybody. I like it when the characters are monogamous. I'm sorry, I'm just old-fashioned like that, but uh, it didn't bother me too much because I was bought, I bought into the, the steam and the attraction between everybody. I did buy into the attraction. The other level of romance, I don't know if I bought into with her and Caleb, but um, both Lacey and Chandler caught on to the fact that the mom had the rule of three, which completely I didn't even remember by the time I was at the end which is like you one's lust one's learn one's love Jake was lust Noah was learn Caleb was love I didn't catch on to that so kudos to you guys for seeing that connection but um yeah those are my thoughts sorry this is so late I know Lacey posted and Chandler posted theirs on Tuesday and Lacey's like I don't know when Jessica's posting hers and I'm just like I'm still reading a 500 page book it took me four days to finish the book I had a really hard time connecting with Tiernan in the beginning with because she just like didn't have any personality. She was just like an empty shell. But that was purposeful. So about 25-30% in she has a really serious conversation with Jake about how empty she is because of how she's grown up. And so I got that. And that made me accept the slow beginning because I couldn't really connect with her like at all in the beginning. So yes, it's a little slow to get into. But after that, it's pretty good. And I liked how we got to see Jared at the end. We didn't see him, but he was mentioned from Bully. I loved that. And yeah, I don't know. This does push the envelope just like Pump 57, just like Birthday Girl. Penelope Douglas is giving us really quality, unique romances. And I loved her note at the end saying she doesn't want to be an author that churns out 10 books a year that are all the same, which some authors do and that's why I have stopped reading some authors because I'm tired of the same thing over and over again which we will never get from Penelope Douglas she is amazing and yeah I'll probably still buy this book it's still a four-star read I'll probably still reread it at some point now that I know what I know and like pay attention to Caleb more because he like ugh. he was just like weird and like not something that I would ever be attracted to he comes in like covered in blood and just like throws himself on this girl he sees in his house I don't know. I'll, I won't, I don't get it. But I wish that she would have ended up with Jake, but I know why she didn't. So it's fine. And I don't like how Jake was just like, oh, it's fine. And like your sons are literally sleeping with a girl that you just spent weeks with. But it's fine. They threw in a love interest for Jake, which I thought was a little bit forced, but it was fine. So yeah, four stars for me. Not a complete five. If it was anything but Penelope, it would have been lower. But the writing was just fantastic and I was hooked onto the story. So after about like 25%. So yeah, those are my thoughts. Let me know down below what you thought and I would love to hear. And that's all I have. As always, thank you so much for watching and have a good day.